Uh, it is uh, my privilege to recognize the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Green, for five minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And it is my privilege to be recognized by you for this five minutes, Madam Speaker. I rise and still I rise because I love my country and because I believe that no one is above the law. We say that quite religiously here in this institution. No one is above the law. I have in my hand the report on the investigation into Russian interference in the 2016 presidential election. This document, known as the Mueller Report, has been released to the public for some 29 days now. Since its release, we have had many persons, many of whom are members of this august body, to say that they have concluded that the president has committed impeachable acts. Some have gone so far as to say that he should be impeached. I'm one of them. We've also had hundreds of lawyers, many of whom are prosecutors and former prosecutors, to say that if anyone else committed the offenses outlined in this document, the Mueller report, that person would be arrested and prosecuted. That person would be prosecuted. That person would not be above the law. Hence, one can logically conclude that since this document addresses acts by the president, and since the president is not being prosecuted, since the House of Representatives has not moved to impeach the president, one can conclude that the president is indeed now, for some 29 days, above the law. No one is above the law unless you're the president. No one is above the law unless the House of Representatives has a duty to enforce the law. The President of the United States of America has been said by constitutional scholars, by members of this august body, and by lawyers, hundreds, have been, has been said that he is subject to the law and that he should be properly prosecuted is not happening. The prosecution of the president in the House of Representatives will take place once impeachment is initiated. So until impeachment is initiated, this president is above the law. He continues to obstruct. He is above the law. I'm using this refrain because it's important for the American public, the people who understand that no one is above the law, to at least see that we have a problem. We have a president who, by most standards, has committed impeachable acts. And yet, we have not started the impeachment process. If the president is not impeached, one of two things will happen. One, he won't be impeached. Or two, the Congress of the United States of America will become a toothless paper tiger not only as it relates to this president, but also as this is related to future presidents. We cannot allow the perception of the Congress to be toothless when it comes to our constitutional responsibilities to exist. We have a duty, a responsibility, and an obligation to bring the president to justice. The bar of justice for this president and any other president is this House of Representatives, and each member of this House has the responsibility to make sure that justice is served. I will now start a process that will commence on the second anniversary of my initial call for the impeachment of this president, which will be tomorrow. Tomorrow will be the second anniversary. And I will start a process tomorrow of bringing to this floor a display. And we will display the number of days since the Mueller report was produced and the number of days that this president has gone above the law.
because until the president is impeached, those who say that he should be impeached, those who say there's evidence enough to impeach, until this president is impeached, we who say this must conclude that he is above the law. I love my country. I stand on the law. I believe in the Constitution. And as such, I believe that this House has a duty and a responsible responsibility to take up impeachment. Madam Speaker, the gentleman's time I yield back my time. Members are reminded to refrain from engaging in personalities toward the president. The chair recognizes